What's up, tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. This week, Rafael Nadal has made a great debut into the Asian circuit in Tokyo. Today, he pushed past Santiago Giraldo, 7-6-6-3, to set up for an exciting semifinal against world number eight, Marty Fish, who defeated Australian young gun Bernard Tomic, 6-7-6-4. Six, one. Nadal leads their head-to-head -head series 6-1. The other semifinal at the Rakuten Japan Open will be played between David Ferrer, who ousted Radek Stepanik 6-2-7-6, and last week's champion Andy Murray, who defeated David Nalbandian 6-4-7-5. Murray and Ferrer are 3-3 in their head-to-head -head series wins. However, the last time they played was at the Australian Open, where Murray took the victory. Ferrer and Fish are fighting to make it to London for the ATP World Tour Masters 1000 event with their top four already playing. Ferrer is also in a strong position to qualify for the season finale at number five in the South African Airways 2011 ATP year-to-date rankings. Speaking of year-end rankings, it seems that Andy Murray is in position to take away Roger Federer's number three position. This will be a huge deal considering that Federer hasn't been below the top three since June of 2003. That day will be a sad day for Federer fans. This ranking threat is primarily based around the fact that Roger Federer was so incredibly successful at the end of last year. He made it to the final of Shanghai, which he dropped out this year due to injuries. One in Stockholm, one in Basel, made it to the semis of Paris, and won the year-end final in 2010. The current world number four has very few points to defend compared to the Swiss, who played his top tennis at the end of last year. Murray must defend 1,715 points, while Federer has to save 3,210 points. The two are currently separated by only 965 points, but Federer will automatically lose the 600 points he won because he dropped out of Shanghai. The 1,500 points he gained at the ATP World Tour Finals are looking bleak due to the fact he'll have to defend against the major success and incredible run of Novak Djokovic, who he leads with 14 wins to 10 in their head-to-head -head series, but is currently down 1-4 to four in their wins against the number one. He will also have to get past Rafael Nadal, who is 18 to 8 against Federer, who has not beat the Spaniard once in their three meetings this year. Murray is well aware of these facts and makes it his goal to get rid of Federer. He will have to win this week in Tokyo and defend his winning points in Shanghai to surpass Federer. What will the world do with Federer at number four? Let us know below. In Beijing, two Barclays ATP World Tour Finals contenders, Joe Wilfred Songa and Thomas Burdich, will face off again in the semifinals. Songa defeated Juan Carlos Ferrero, 6-3, 6-4. Burdich cruised by world number seven, Fernando Verdasco, 6-1, 6-0. The other semi will be played between two Croatians, Ivan Lubicic and Marin Cilic. The 32-year-old Lubicic beat Mikhail Yuzny, 7-6, 6-7-6-2, while Chilich ousted Kevin Anderson 7-6-4-6-6-1. As for the ladies' side, we lost all of the top seeds after defending champion Caroline Woz Wozniacki fell to Flavia Panetta 3-6-6-0-7-6. Panetta faces 11th seed Agnieszka Rodvanska, whose opponent Anna Vonagic retired at 6-3-3-2. Lee Na's upsetter Monica Nicolescu who is a qualifier made it to the semifinals after defeating Maria Kirilenko 3-6-6-3-6-4. She will face ninth seed Andrea Petkovic, who advanced past Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova 6-3-7-6. A majority of the seeded players fell in the first rounds. Some sad news came in this week. Marat Safin outed his little sister's Dinar Safina's plans to retire. Former number one Safina has been suffering with a backer injury over the past couple of years and has struggled to make it make any headway in the tournaments in her comebacks. So it looks like she's going. We'll miss you, Safina. Moving on to some fun and sexy stuff, Vera Zvonareva posed nude for the ESPN magazine Body Issue, made to celebrate the athlete's body. Serena Williams and wheelchair tennis champion Esther Verger participated in the sexy magazine in the two previous editions. The private parts are of course tastefully covered. She joins other top stars like Hope Solo, Natasha Hastings, Sergio Martinez, Apollo Ono, and much more. 
She discussed why she decided to get involved and said, for me, it was something that I just decided to try. I think some things you can try at least once in your life. Well, that wraps us up for today, tennis fans. Be sure to follow us as we will be covering all of the tournament news throughout the weeks. I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now. Thanks for watching.